Okay, so this video is going to be a look at Piranha, which is a late entry in my recent mass videos. Now a common problem with Piranha is the windshield, this bit, it's usually broken, and mine is no exception, mine broke years ago, and I've since had to super glue it into place. Now it, it's supposed to clip on and off, even though I've no idea why, it comes in the box like that, because without it, it looks weird, it doesn't look like Piranha anymore, and it helps to keep Slyrax into place because if you look at his hands they're just fists he can't grip the handlebars so when he's on the bike you have to squeeze his arms into the windshield and it helps keep him in place when I mean, his hands don't come anywhere near the handlebars not even close but it sort of looks like he's riding it that's with the windshield so that windshield just has to be there no matter what I and mean, it should come molded onto it that's the way it should have happened come cool. there's just no need for it to clip on and off i don't know why they designed it like that so the bike's not really that great but what is better is a sidecar it's much better thought out you press that small button to activate the guns and the fins just so it's got some offensive capabilities on land and then push them back in if they're going to do it and then Slyrax drives up to the shore, jumps into the sidecar bit. If he's going to fit. It's a tight fit. That bit goes over him. And then you press the bigger button to activate this one man submarine which activates the, the guns and the fins as well now in the cartoon they're a bit lazy with it because they just colour it in all purple but in real life it's a lot more colourful the decals the red, the green and the yellow and the orange it looks a lot better in real life than it does in the cartoon The majority of mass vehicles are either land-based or aircraft. There's not so many water ones. There's Gator, Piranha, Shark, which is virtually impossible to get. Raven, which transforms into a seaplane. So it lands and takes off on the water, but spends most of its time in the air as a, as a jet, on land as a car. And then there's Bullet Bandit, which changes into a hovercraft and that doesn't need to do it can do the hovercraft thing on land it doesn't necessarily have to be on water so there wasn't that many water ones the only thing I can think of they did why they did that was because were they trying to keep us away from water did they think they would take these things down to the local pond watch them sink to the bottom and then accidentally drown ourselves by jumping in and trying to retrieve them I mean, I won't even put these things in the kitchen sink because it would just rust the screws, which has happened anyway, just because of time, and all the stickers would come off. I just won't be that stupid as a kid. So, really fast way of ruining them. So, if they if they ever bring this back, which fingers crossed they will, I hope they do more water-based ones because we'll need more water-based ones. When I use my imagination, I said that this rug was water, or this part of the carpet was water, and that's where Gator and Venom fought. I won't put these things in water for anything, because they'd get ruined, and you'd have to wait till next Christmas to get another one. Alright, so that's the end of this. A look at Piranha. Hope you join me on another look at video sometime.